first of all, as we are now, I don't know, it's kind of a, become a regular part of the programme, hasn't this, uh, on a Friday morning? Very accustomed to speaking to James Luxford uh, at this time on a Friday. Movie reviewer for the Metro newspaper and Radio Times magazine. James joining us via FaceTime link from Stratford-upon-Avon. Morning, James. Good morning. Uh, ooh, there's a bit of a delay on the line there. That sounds like you're in Outer Mongolia, oh. mate. Uh, so, uh, just because you can't go to the cinema uh, doesn't mean uh, James, uh, who, of course, is a regular part of the programme every Friday morning, still can't give you recommendations of what you can now watch at home over the weekend. James has uh, scanned around for the best of the silver screen on the small screen this weekend. Where do you want to start, James, with your picks for this weekend? Let's start with Four Kids and It, originally intended for cinemas. It's now on video demand from today. This is a story of four teenagers who discover a magical magical creature voiced by Sir Michael Caine. This thing gives wishes. One wish a day, but there's consequences. Have you come across anything unusual? Oh. What was that? Magic is an old twinkly lights of stardust. I got great news for you, because this is the best wish you've ever heard. Four children and it. Good recommendation. Uh, how old is this movie, James? It's a new one. It was meant to come out uh, in cinemas from today. It's now on video on demand. They've decided to put it straight to... Um, uh, 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 I suppose all digital platforms and uh, yeah I enjoyed this I think it's uh, maybe just a, a light sort of fun family movie particularly for the weekend and uh, it's clearly intended for the what would have been the Easter break but I think it's a good option for the, uh, the circumstances we find ourselves in now. Good stuff and uh, increasingly of course a lot of these uh, on demand services so uh, Sky Movies, Disney Plus uh, offering now up these what would have been global premieres so you can watch them at home uh, from the uh, the safety of your home for children and it uh, if you have got those services if you haven't ITV2, 8 o'clock Saturday for the next one for you James Yes, it's Skyfall, the Daniel Craig Bond film, the third movie in his tenure, where he tries to foil a terrorist with a connection to M's past. Country, England. Gun, shot. Agent, provocateur. Murder, employment. Skyfall. Skyfall. Done. Mm. Quick game of word association there. Uh, with uh, Daniel Craig as 007. Good one. Bond. Uh, did you think, James, because you kind of, you flip with some of these Bonds, don't you? You kind of go good, bad, good, bad with these. I do. I think particularly with Daniel Craig, I think it's a case of sort of there was, you know, I really enjoyed Kissy Norrell, not so much Quantum of Solace, and, but Skyfall. I mean, it's the most successful Bond film ever. Over a billion dollars at the box office, two Oscars. Everything seems to come together in this film. The action, the mystery, the great performances. Probably Craig's best moment and uh, a bit of a, uh, I suppose, a primer for No Time to Die when it comes out in November. Yeah, OK, good suggestion. ITV2, 8 o'clock, Saturday night for Sky 4. And finally, James, your third choice this week. Trolls World Tour, another movie that was intended for cinemas but out on video on demand on Monday. A sequel to 2016's Trolls, in which the heroes from the last film discover new lands dedicated to different types of music. There's a world full of other trolls. How different can they be? Yeah. Oh, I'm going to unite the six strings. By the end of my world tour, I'm going to turn all the trolls into rock zombies. Yeah. Rock and roll! Yeah. She wants to destroy us. We need to unite the trolls to save all music. Yeah. 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 
Let's sing them the most important songs in the history of music. This ought to be good. OK, Justin Timberlake's one of the most important songs in the history of music. OK, well, there's, uh, <laughs> there's something I didn't know uh, before now. Uh, James, any good? Trolls? <laughs> well, it's a, yeah, I think it's a fun sequel for the songs. It will be, uh, a, like you said, maybe not the greatest songs of all time, but ones <laughs> that younger audience members might remember. And it's, um, again, another movie that should have been uh, filling up cinemas in the Easter holidays, and you get it into your home via all the usual places. Good stuff. Uh, those are your three movie picks for the weekend. Really appreciate those. And then you're going to come back Monday and do some TV picks for us for the week ahead on the telly as well, aren't you? Absolutely, yes. Good man. Uh, you can follow James uh, on Twitter. Do go and have a look for him uh, there, won't you? His reviews in the Radio Times and Metro newspaper as well. And every Friday morning right here for you on BBC CWR. The mystery year. The sound of... The sound of... 